Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are in day two in Edinburgh. So we're going to see Edinburgh Castle. Then there's a camera obscura thing that we're going to see as well. So please you guys along with us. <laughs> place we are staying they do not have any kitchen facilities except a kettle to, so we just go in on the way to get some breakfast and then there's some few uh, landmark points that we want to see as well look at this beautiful stonework doesn't it make you feel like you are in Europe already you can see the Edinburgh Castle at top there already. We're going to go there and see Edinburgh Castle later on and I will explain what all there is. There is also Miss Jane Brodie steps. There are a lot of pictures taken and we saw a few of the wedding photography taken there as well. One of the viewpoints is there. I have given all the name on the side. So if you want to go and check this place out, please do. This cafe made me feel like I'm in Europe somewhere on holiday. Since we can't go abroad, this has to do. This is a beautiful French cafe, I think. I ordered some pastries and a pot of tea. Inside, there's a lot of spacing. You can sit inside and also you can sit outside as well. And they do some really pretty looking macarons as well. And sandwiches if you need them. So this is Victoria Street and I've seen a lot of people take pictures here or even if you google Victoria Street you can see a lot of we will be coming back here to try some of the food. So we'll take you to the next place which is the Tool Booth Kirk. We did not go in, you can't go in there, there's no one there but you can just stand outside and take some pictures if you wanted to. So we are finally at the famous Edinburgh castle. So this is the view from outside of the castle before you enter. So again, if you don't want to go inside the castle, you just want to go there and take some pictures. You are allowed to do that. So many people do that. But we have actually booked tickets online and wanted to go inside and see. Since we drove four hours to get to Edinburgh, may as well see the castle. <laughs> You can still buy tickets from outside of the castle as well but I would think it's better if you bought the ticket online then it will save you some time and
Come on. So this is the oldest place in Edinburgh Castle. This is another one of the things that you can see as well, which is the presence of war. Again, they have displayed it very beautifully so you get to enjoy all the history. We are about to leave Edinburgh Castle and going to get some lunch. So if you're going to spend your time in Edinburgh Castle, please make sure you are ready to spend at least two to three hours in there or half a day even. So we are getting lunch from a place called Oink. When we googled Edinburgh and places to eat, Oink came up so many times. So we decided to have some food from there. So they do pulled pork sandwiches. So I had some hot chocolate and pulled pork and cheese sauce mm -hmm. and also the crackling. That is an option if you wanted them. The hot box, the crackling is very, very salty and they do ask you if you want crackling. It's just an option. After lunch, we went to the camera obscure place. Again, if you want to buy the tickets, I would ask you to buy them online rather than going in there and buying them. They might not have capacity due to COVID. This is a very, very enjoyable place for kids and adults. These illusions are very interactive, very kids and adult friendly. I'm sure everybody will enjoy this and have fun. I did. I had so much fun in there. I will show you what I mean. Did you enjoy that? There are so many more things in that to enjoy. There are mirrors which gives you an illusion of you being taller, skinnier with short legs. They are very interactive and very fun to see and watch. There are so many floors to enjoy and view. Again, there are people there who's cleaning all the obstacles all the time so it is safe for you to touch and use the items there. Welcome to my galaxy. I will only put a few videos of this place because if you're going there, I want you to have the full experience. But I just wanted to give you the variety of illusions and obstacles they have. They have them crystal, all crystal balls that you used to see them in the science classes where they give you the static thing, which was very fun to play around as well. And there are a lot of pictures which gives you the illusion and you to look, come and read. And then there are also things that you can play with as well with the kids. Mm. Oh, someone watching me. That's the end of the camera obscura place. I'll show you a few pictures that we have taken as well. 
now we are going to go to gladstone land which is a landmark and a beautiful cafe if you're going to gladstone land i would recommend to try the lemon curd ice cream i know i know people would think oh yeah lemon curd but trust me it tastes amazing well in my opinion anyway there are seating outside and lot of seating inside as well the staff were very very friendly they gave me a even a taster for the lemon curd ice cream because i was like uh, lemon curd they're like do you want to give it a try i was like defo i also had a chai latte which was really tasty as well gladstone land is also one of the edinburgh's national trust as well after all this we decided to head to the apartment and order a takeaway from the ting tang caravan the food was really really nice ordered a katsu curry a beef salad prawn and calamari egg noodles and some chicken wings this is one of the place we wanted to eat in the restaurant but since we were tired and there wasn't any space there we decided to eat at home we hope you have enjoyed this video before we conclude this video the last place we went to is the fourth bridge which has an amazing view at night if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and thank you for watching this is before all the explorer explorer blah blah, blah.